Okay, so since I have an older version of SolidWorks, it does not do uh, external threads or actually internal threads. Um, it calls them out, but doesn't actually show the, uh, the thread and an issue when doing external threads and sending something to a, uh, like a machine shop or something, they don't see any threads. So this is kind of going to be like a rough tutorial on uh, how to do threads. So here is the new bolt for the Jay-Z oil filter housing that I'm going to make. This is the old one. It's actually um, only going to be about that long with the threads, something like that, or maybe like that long with the threads. Uh, makes it quite a bit shorter. It's still going to retain this factory um, aluminum washer. I'll probably get a new one. And uh, I've always had an issue. Uh, I probably need to get a new version of SolidWorks, but instead I educated myself on uh, doing threads. So you can go and find something like this and it, it'll tell you all of the information that you need to know um, to do the threads. But mostly here is a thread for the uh, dash 10 for 10 an, which is the top of this right here. It's a 7 8 14. And uh, what you really need to know is the major diameter. So it's 22.1837. And that pretty much gets you over to here. And uh, that's, hold on, oops, that's the bottom one. I'll show you the top one. So that pretty much gets you your helix. Um, so the external helix is the actual, you want it to be the major diameter of your, um, of your cut. And then you have a, well, I have a sketch. You don't have a sketch, do you? But uh, then I have a sketch. And what you want to do with the sketch is you pretty much are drawing the uh, the cut like path. So this is the path, or the helix is the path, and this is the cut. So as you can see, uh, here is the actual inside of the thread. I can show you right here. So pretty much what you're cutting is that you can almost, I don't know if you can see it, with this camera, but it's like, it's a uh, pretty much exactly what that is. So it's a uh, radius right here. It's uh, not 0.20, it rounded up, it's 0.19 something. And uh, these are specific lengths. So you wanna go over to here and it'll tell you, so your root radius, which is this right here, this is what it says is 20. So my root radius is actually 0.1954, and that's the, the maximum, that's the min below it. And uh, so that's that right there to, and these are um, 60 degrees. So from center it's 30 and 30. And the, uh, the length from the uh, beginning of a, like the center of a pitch to the other center of a pitch right here, is uh, your pitch right here, so 1.8143, which I could measure that line and that's what it'd be. So, uh, and then you have your your actual uh, crest radius, which is 0.1964, and that's this is how you make this cut, is all of this information right here. And uh, that's how you make it so you can actually draw out the, uh, see, you can see, it looks like this, just more zoomed in. But, which is nice, what is nice is I can 3D print this and it should work. Um, my 3D printer kind of uh, over exaggerates, it's not 100% calibrated, but if I had a really uh, good 3D printer, I could just print this bolt and use it uh, to mock things up and make sure that it's the correct uh, thread and everything. But this is the bolt that I'm designing for the Jay-Z oil filter housing. It's a uh, dash 10 on the top and it's uh, 
I think that's three quarter, 16 is what it was on the bottom. And the good thing about this is then there's the aluminum washer. There's uh, no uh, path between this. This doesn't really need to be a, uh, a slip fit anymore. So that's a really nice thing right there. But I need this bolt and the filter housing uh, made before I can actually put it on the engine as a complete assembly. But I might end up um, producing them, maybe. We'll see what happens, but this is nice that it's a actual uh, threaded bolt in SolidWorks so I can see the threads instead of it just being like a call out. So yeah, that's like a uh, kind of like a rough, really, really rough uh, like tutorial on how to make bolts in SolidWorks. All you do is like make the uh, the uh, cut portion and then make the path and it pretty much just cuts it. I could open this back up and watch, I'll edit it. So this is pretty much what a cut looks like. You don't want them to actually connect and that's why your major diameter is, uh, see how it doesn't actually connect? And that's because you want your um, major diameter to be that where it doesn't connect. So it completes everything. And uh, when you do a, uh, a swept cut, um, you can't actually have them touching or it'll well, in this version of SolidWorks, it will give you an error. So that's how you do that. It's not too bad. All right, just uh, beginning my day. I'm about to go over to Sherwin-Williams to uh, get that seven gallons of clear. They're supposed to call me. Uh, they said a week. It should have been here Friday. Uh, I just gave them the weekend. I really didn't feel like doing it over the weekend because I wanted to do some Jay-Z stuff and uh, SolidWorks stuff. So I'm going to go today. Hopefully it's there. I need to pick up the seven gallons and then uh, maybe today or tomorrow I'll do that uh, second coat. It'll probably end up being tomorrow because I have to fix that little spot on the, uh, the maple or pine or whatever you want to call it in the spare bedroom that did something weird. Uh, I'm going to fix that and then I'll do the uh, second coat of clear the day after. So uh, maybe I'll just fix that today so it can get uh, dried out. And then uh, I'm gonna run by the power cutter and uh, see what the status of my 3000 GT stuff is. I have the, the poly bushings for the diff. I still haven't uh, found a place to make me the uh, solid bushings. So, you know, it's not too in too big a hurry on it, but I would like to have that new subframe and the steering delete in the car so I could go get it so I could go have it aligned and all that stuff. So I'm going to get going and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got that Jay-Z thing designed. I sent the uh, CAD files to a few companies and uh, hopefully I can get the uh, one of those or two of those, a couple of them made. Um, my thing is, is with the bolts that I designed they may have to make at least 50 of them so i might just make 50 housings in the beginning uh, and uh, i still need to figure out uh, how much they're going to cost what it's going to cost me in the end and then anodizing and all that stuff so i'll have to uh, figure out pricing on them i'm sure usually machining stuff like that they'll end up being like because of the, just because of the bolt they'll end up being like 200 bucks for an oil filter housing with uh, the bolt like the the bolt with the and fitting and then the other and fitting so i'm gonna get going and uh hopefully some good stuff happens to me. just leaving the scrap yard i uh took some copper from uh my house and i really didn't think it was like that much copper but i got 100 bucks for it so you know that wasn't too bad and uh now i don't know what i'm doing now i uh might go back by my house or something and uh, figure something out to do. I don't know, I need to wait for the mailman because he keeps not putting my mail in my mailbox and I think it's blowing away. All right, so last night I pretty much just designed that bolt that is gonna hold that on and actually be 
uh, dash 10 fitting. I talked to uh, some companies about making this stuff. Uh, this piece, the filter housing, or the filter block, or whatever you want to call it, and then the bolt. So hopefully I can find some company to actually like make them that are, is actually reasonably priced because the, the machine shop up front of where we're at is really, uh, he wants way too much. And uh, it seems like he's kind of far out on time, time wise. And I wanted to kind of get this thing going a little bit quicker than, uh, I don't know, like a couple months. So, or at least all the lines and everything on it and the filter uh, locate, like relocated. So, uh, yeah, what else? I still need to order all the front stuff for the timing and, uh, and that stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, coming together. I think I want to design another little thing for it. I might pull the uh, throttle body off to do it. We'll see. I'm not exactly sure if I want to or not yet. And then uh, what else? Um, yeah, still still deciding if I want to, because I, I might get a uh, HKS timing belt or I may get a, uh, uh, like a, uh, what are they called? Not the Gretty, but the, uh, what is it called? Um, they're like Kevlar, they are, whatever they are. I can't remember what they are, but I'm gonna try to get one of those or maybe an HKS, I'm not exactly sure. It just depends on what cam gears I go with. I wanted Tomei, but they're red and HKS ones are purple. So I don't know, maybe Titan ones. Just gonna have to figure it out. Okay, so I pulled the throttle body, all the traction control stuff off of it and uh, pulled it off the engine. I'm probably gonna make like a little adapter or something maybe. We'll see what happens to uh, kind of clock it in a different position so it's a lot easier to mount. And uh, now that there's no traction control, uh, like little throttle body thing in there, probably cut this off right here. I wanna retain the water lines though. That actually keep it like warm. Maybe, we'll see what happens. And then I can weld on a uh, little little thing from an intercooler pipe on the end of it. All right, I've been deciding if I'm gonna pull the power shank pump or leave it on and I'm just gonna pull it off. I really don't uh, ever see myself needing this power steering. And uh, if that's the case, I really don't need to order any of those uh, pulleys because I already have the only one I need, which is the alternator. And uh, I think that's all I'm gonna run on the block is alternator, water pump, um, maybe water pump. I'm still deciding if I want to go electric. I'll, uh, if I do end up going electric, I'll probably design something. So, and that'll be one last thing I'll have to buy is, uh, if I go electric, I won't have to buy a water pump. Uh, well, technically I'll have to buy an electric pump, but, uh, then I'll kind of free this area up and, uh, I'll, I'll also run AC still. I really want to have AC, so. Uh, you know, that AC in the summer is nice. I, I hopefully can drive this in the summer. I mean, I'm gonna have a few things that I'm probably gonna be driving, the VR4 and this, uh, whatever this is in. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull this off really quick. So I just pulled the starter off and now I'm just gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do for power steering. And uh, I'm gonna, I talked to the machine shop guy up front and he's gonna give me a quote on making this whole like uh, oil, block adapter thing with the bolt and the and fitting and all that stuff so see what he says about that stuff hopefully it's not too um too overpriced or expensive or whatever and then uh, he's also gonna see about making the the return fitting and then i could get the return done and uh i ordered a fitting for the feed so i just need to order some uh fittings for the line and a little bit of line or like a pre-made line because that's only I think it's like 16 inches or something so and then i could get the uh the feed on the turbo the return done and uh some of this other stuff so i'll probably run as the alt here the ac compressor and uh yeah that's about it all right so just a short little video today i uh did some stuff with the jay-z uh went over to my house took care of a few things uh, a lot of stuff that 
I was uh, hoping to do today. I didn't have the supplies or they didn't come in. Uh, the 3000 GT, the rear subframe stuff, wasn't finished, so I couldn't do anything with that. None of the clear came in for uh, my floors, so I couldn't do that. And then, uh, you know, just kind of messing around with the J. So if you like the video, subscribe, comment below, hit the bell so you get notifications, and uh, see you guys tomorrow.